of the Faring Down. Today we're doing Joe the Bee. Get ready, go! Okay guys, so today's the day to check on the ladies. So we're gonna smoke the entrance a little bit here. I do it. And then we're gonna um, go on in there and uh, see if they got any honey for us. So we have five hives situated at our, on our property and we've got two situated on another property. So we've already taken, um, I can't even remember how many kilos, watch my other video, you'll see. But we've taken a few kilos out of these hives already. So it's been about a month since I've checked on them. They've been getting a bit of neglect, but hey, I'll just do what I can. So this is my assistant over here, Jasper. He's going to be my smoker. He's lost his gloves, so uh, we'll see if he can handle some frames, but don't know if he's game enough. Mmm, I can smell that honey. Down. Yeah. Whoa! She is heavy! That means there's tons of honey in it. Okay, so this is one of the outer frames. Pretty much um, all capped. So this is the full box of honey over here. It's ready to be harvested. It's probably about, um, I'd say, they're three quarter frames, so I'd say about at least 15 kilos of honey in this, this box. So that's definitely going to put some uh, weight to the tally if I get my stuff in the check and actually process them. But yeah, this box is, top box is definitely full of honey. Oh, another box full of honey. Whoa, they've even put honey on the top. They're working on the top too. Okay, so this is the outer frame again of the second box. Pretty much uh, full of honey here. We just got to cap it. Um, the reason I'm showing you the outer frames is because the, the bees work from the inner frames and fill them all up and they do the outer frames last. So if the outer frames are full of honey, that means the whole box is full of honey. It means I don't have to check all the frames. Or I could just look down and see that they're all capped. But you know, just for you guys who don't know about honeybees. Whoa! I'm a faint ball left in this box. Oh. So, my tip for today um, if you're new to beekeeping and you haven't got strong muscles, I would go with the three quarter. Uh, boxes and frames not the full depth because when uh, when the honey builds up you want to keep putting the, the full boxes of honey onto the top and keep putting the new boxes of honey just above the, the brood box where they make all their bees so if the full box of honey is at the top you can imagine if you're not that strong you're gonna at least need two people to help you lift that off. So if you're just a hobbyist like me, just do honey for yourself and a little bit of side business, um, I'd recommend with uh, three quarter boxes. So that's just a little tip for you. I have one more tip, just because I love tips, is um, I recommend keeping your lawn short around your hive, which me myself, I'm pretty bad at. But um, yeah, that's all I got. Okay, I'm going to check the brood and get back to you. Okay, so when I am looking in the, the brood box, pretty much what I'm looking for is um, nice cells. 
uh, no holes in the cells, which um, could be diseases, and um, no spotty brood pattern. Uh, mites, I'm looking for if, if their wings are a bit chopped up, it could be paramedic mite syndrome, and looking for AFB. So I'll use like a toothpick and I'll swirl any around that I think have got sunken, uh, sunken cappings and stuff like that. And uh, the other thing I'll look for is the, the queen. And if I can't find the queen, I'll look for little baby eggs. And that'll indicate that the queen's been around the last uh, three days. So they take three days to hatch. So yeah, as long as she's around, then I know this hive is all right. But uh, yeah, pretty much looking for diseases and the honey supply so I can harvest. Okay guys, so I'm finished with this hive. Um, I found some eggs, so pretty happy I found the queen, no diseases. So this hive's a, a go. Um, I think I've got about 50 kgs of honey in this hive, hopefully, just a rough estimate. Um, so gonna have to get onto a harvest soon. But I'll put this hive back together and I'll uh, get onto some other hives. put you on time lapse so I don't bore you and if there's any funny business coming on with these hives I'll, uh, I'll show you. Okay, now this hive seemed to have had uh, one nice brood frame there, but um, on second inspecting, this is why it's always important to check your brood boxes. Um, I have some uh, some bees with uh, some deformed wings, which is a clear sign of PMS. It's pretty much mites in your hive, little red mites. So um, they pretty much suck the blood of the babies and. Uh, yeah, they slowly kill off your colony if you uh, leave them unchecked. So pretty much all I need, I need to put some mite strips in there. Pretty ASAP, but um, you don't want to put the mite strips in when you have uh, honey frames on top. So maybe next weekend I'm going to have to harvest some honey. But hey, that's good for you guys. You get to see all the honey action. But not good for these guys. So you got to wait another week. But yeah, not always good news. One more box to put on. And this is the number one reason why you should use three quarters. Because I'm reasonably strong. In this box here, I struggle a lot. It's packed with too much honey. Can you have too much honey? Apparently so. Okay guys, all these three hives behind me, they all have mites, so that's what you get for neglecting your hives for about a month. You get problems. How do you deal with the problems? You just deal with them. So next week I'll put my treatment in there, and you know about two weeks after that they should be all clear, and I'll keep checking them every, every two weeks rather than monthly. But um. Nevertheless, even though they have problems, they have a lot of honey. So, at least two boxes in there. I think one box and a half in there. And about three boxes in there. And I think uh, we've got about three boxes over there. So, yeah, I predict oh, there's got to be at least 70 kilo 
of honey in here. Um, I've got one more hive to check, but um, I thought I'd leave you guys on that note. I'll see you guys later, and I'm glad you could come check out some of my bees, some of my ladies. Sorry I couldn't find any queens for you, but um, they're all hiding. They're all trying to sort out their hives. So um, I'll check out my other hive, but um, for the meantime, I'll let you guys go, let you get on with the rest of your day, rest of your night, wherever you are. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Look out.